G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up an Acer branded lower card of an RTX 3060 Ti. Now, why am I opening it up? Well, it's got a few years on it now. I want to open it up and redo the paste on it. Where do I start? I'm not sure. Let's find that out together. Take off this back plate, take off here, and I'll see where we end up. This one was purchased secondhand off eBay for around about three, it was about 300 Australian dollars, which being the blower version of it, no one really likes them. But if you can game, and it's got some good thermal paste on it, that should be fine. Keep finding more. There we go. I feel like there's a silicon pad somewhere here. Or oh, there's a screw hidden under here. No. No, we have a couple of pads here. One more screw. One more screw. No real discolouring on here. There we go, that's why we're staying. Still nice and oily, so that I'm perfectly happy with. What have I got here? Any screws? I think I need to take out these two screws here. So far, relatively dust free, which is definitely a good sign. Okay. Yeah, what's this gonna do? Nope. I'll then do these two as well. There we go. Disconnect here. Overall, pretty good condition. Much better than I initially thought it was going to be. Decent slab of weight here. I like that it's all copper. I'm gonna give this a dust blowout. Then I'll clean up the thermal paste. Put some fresh stuff on there, and away we go. using IPA, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, sometimes it gets the name off. Put on here, next up is this one here. This doesn't feel too bad. Now, I'll give it a little brush of toothbrush. Wipe over that. Okay. I 
going to use some deep cool Z5, which is the paste that I've currently got floating around. Oop. So that tube was a lot more emptier than what it was. Now this is on an angle, it doesn't really affect applying it too much. Make sure we cover the whole die itself. As it is in a heat spreader. If you don't put paste there, that's gonna cook. Sometimes I tend to just dab it around to get to the edges. And now we'll go back to some smooth motions. Oh, a bit too far over here. Get back. Go. Switch these over, connect this back up, and from there I'll flip it, try and line everything up. There we go, I can feel that it's already kind of sticking. The thermal paste is kind of gripping, so it's making it a bit harder to move it around. So if I push down here, that's about all I really want to do there. And I'll put these screws back in over here, just to hold the I.O. shield back on. Now, there was cutouts for these, so I'm going to put these in first, just to hold the cooler on. I won't do full maximum tightness, but I will do where it's nicely tense. So I've probably got like another little... Probably only like one sixth of a turn remaining. But I want to make sure it's relatively centered. Again. Just go through. Yeah, so pretty much almost as tight as they need to be. Or tighter than they need to be. I should better spin this around. Line it up. Put it down. I've got all these little screws to go in. They all came out relatively easily. It's not like they're burring, so the quality of the actual screw and nut's pretty good. It's not like it's quite like burred or carrying on. Uh, didn't give it a dust blowout as well. Virtually no dust came out of it. So either it was cleaned prior to me getting it, or also it used in a relatively clean environment, which would be very nice, considering the amount of cards nowadays that are coming from mining areas, secondhand cards on eBay, and they're all just covered in rust and corrosion. It's slowly becoming a bit of a, a not not a very funny joke. Okay. Sit this here and put screw in one, two. Sit that upright. It's the most amount of torque these screws have had yet. Straight up here. Done. IO shields back on. One RTX 3060 Ti blower card or Acer blower card. Done. Hope that helps with your thermal paste replacement and I'll see you guys later. Bye.